What would success look like to you, name it, five years from now, 10 years from now? What's your definition of a perfect world related to health? What would it look like if we incorporated all the voices? Mm. And when I think about it for my community, the indigenous knowledge systems that we bring integrated in every single part from policy, programming, mm -hmm. and decision making, where we are valued, we don't walk in rooms where they question whether we're supposed to be there, but instead we are incorporated at every single step. Because I strongly believe that if we end health disparities, let's say we end cancer for Native people, mm -hmm. we end homelessness for Native people, it would end it for everybody else. It isn't about just one people. When you work and you address that within one population, it reverberates across all populations. Do you believe that in our lifetimes, or your children, my children, our next generation, will we be able to achieve that kind of future? It took 500 years to build the disparities that exist right now, and it is going to take time to break them down. I have a little post-it note next to my desk that says, I sing songs for my children's children because I know their future is going to be greater because of the work that you and I are doing, that everybody in the audience is doing. Yeah. And we have that opportunity to change in the life cycles of our children of our grandchildren, of our great-great-grandchildren, to break down these systems of oppression and to realize true equity and justice, and it's gonna take us some time to break it down. But I have hope every single day because I see the actions of my communities and the support that they bring for the work that I do, the work that you do, the work that everybody in public health is doing, and we have the standing and the support of tribal communities around us, and I know with that, I can do anything.